What is up, Saints? I'm back with another Christian Man Reacts video where if you've been watching, you know the intent of my content is to present good and wholesome entertainment. And whether or not I do, that's up to you. All right, so we're back at it again. We're still rocking the camo hat, which means we're in the midst of Metal Music Month. And uh, this this week here, we're still looking at Sleeping Giant, one of my all-time favorite Christian rock bands. Um, the super heavy, uh, real guttural music. And uh, this this particular song we're going to look at here tonight uh, is one of my favorites by them. It's 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 really heavy. Um, uh, it's just got like a great beat, a great rhythm to it. And then um, the 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 reason it really stands out to me is it's a um, a commentary on Proverbs chapter 7 uh, which talks about the the young man without wisdom who keeps walking by the temptress the the the, the, the lustful woman the the adulterous woman the whorish woman and she lures him he, he goes where he knows she is so he goes um, he's been allured onto this path of destruction he, he knows that's where sin is and so he wants to go check it out and as he's hovering around that area, um, she's calling out to him with 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 lustful eyes and and um, just with 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 um, a, a, a sexual appeal. And um, her husband has left, so so the house is hers. And um, she traps him. She gets him to come into the house and sleep with her. And the proverb teaches us that that's a path of death. And so it's it's. The song is about that sexual sin of adultery and being pulled, being lured into that, uh, not just adultery, but all uh, youthful lust, sexual impurity. Um, I particularly believe that the song or that the proverb itself is not just referring to sexual sin, although that is the the dominant idea of the proverb, and and that's the the poetry and the language used is for sexual sin. But I think it applies to sin all across the board. All sin acts in that same way. It 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 traps us. It it gets us to first of all we we get a desire in our heart for it. So it starts in our heart and our thoughts. And then we go where we know it's available. We put ourselves into dangerous positions. And then when we're in that position, the sin calls out. It, it lures, it tempts, it, it calls to us with, with sensuality, with, with some sort of appeal, something that goes after our flesh. And our, our flesh nature um, is, is unable to resist. And, and we cave and we go into it. And the end result of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Um, so this this entire song is is about that, and so I really thought that was cool. I thought that was unique um, because you have this really really heavy band uh, that most people, you know, if you listen to it for like a minute, you'd be like, ugh, you know, it's not my style. It's it's too heavy, too loud, too aggressive. But then you listen to the lyrical content, and you go, these guys are brothers, man. They're singing about the Lord. They've got they've got good worship music. We listened to one of those last time, and we're gonna listen to another one. Uh, next time Lord willing um, and then they've got messages they've got biblical messages so you can tell these are brothers that spend time in the Word of God um, that that have the word saturating their hearts and it comes out in their music and this particular style is is the gift and talent that they've been given and uh, I really enjoy it um, it's anthem music it's war music it's fight music uh, like I said last time I picture sleeping Giants being the song that plays uh, during Armageddon you know, to put fear into the devil and, and his demons. Uh, but without further ado, I think we'll just go ahead and jump into it. As always, I got the Polar Seltzer water. Uh, still checking out this new flavor, Blueberry Lemonade. Uh, so we're ready to go. Let's do this. All right, so here we go. Uh, this one's called Sleeping Giants uh, Whoremonger. And I'm um, doing something a little bit different this time. I've posted the lyrics up here. Uh, just did a copy and paste onto a notepad. Um, so you can follow along just because I think it's really important to catch what's being said and sometimes when it's so aggressive and loud and 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 um, some people might might not be able to understand what 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 the lyrics are saying although they're not they're not the uh, the scream type you know stuff where where some of that stuff 
you just you can't understand at all what's being said. Um, these guys, you can pick up on it. You'd have to listen carefully, but I just wanted to make sure. Uh, so I posted the lyrics right here so you can follow along. Um, but let's uh, let's check it out here. Starts out great. Real heavy. Get you into it right away. One negative that I find with, with Christian Metal is the artwork on the album covers. I don't know if they do that to appeal like is it like I don't know it's it's some of them I think go too far and I don't know if they have input in that or if that's like the 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 actual production label or the 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 record label that puts together the artwork um but it seems like a lot of times they pull themes from secular metal music and perhaps there's a lot of ignorance there because secular music uses a lot of satanic symbols a lot of occult symbols that that maybe people aren't aware of uh, this isn't necessarily a cult and um, you know it's a dead man holding the world which of course we we pick up on as Christians that that uh, the world is death those are symbols of the flesh and 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 um, a non-spiritual life in Adam we're all dead you know clinging to the world um, but in Christ we're alive um, so I get the uh, the symbology there but but it might be disturbing you know like Imagine bringing this to your old grandma, who was a Bible-believing Christian, saying, here, Grandma, check this album out. Might freak them out a little bit, so I, I wish they'd, they'd tone it down with the, the artwork on the album sometimes. Uh, Sleeping Giant's not as bad as some of the ones that are out there. It's kind of cool too. It's got that like if you grew up in the '90s like me, it's got that that rap metal blend, you know, similar to like I don't know, like a Papa Roach or a, a Limp Biscuit or something like that. It's kind of got that feel to it uh, lyrically, uh, the the sound of his vocals. Yes, he did. No, no. My favorite part of Sleeping Giant is that background vocals. They get like that chanting vocals. It's epic. So wherever I pulled these lyrics from, they obviously got some wrong. I hate the, it's really hard to find uh, good lyrics. I don't know where these websites come up with it. If they're just listening and writing it themselves, they're not getting it from the band officially. Um, because sometimes it, it's very rare, it seems like, to find 100% uh, accurate lyrics. Um, but you're getting the general idea there, so it doesn't take away from it too much. Uh, audibly, like when they switch it up and he gets like real heavy and he gets that that growl type voice, man, that part that part of the song is so good. And the end of this song just takes 
the heaviness to another level. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about here. at the end there you just got that blasted man it did life don't get much better than that <laughs> all right so that's what i got for you tonight i apologize about the lyrics um like i said i just i grabbed some random lyric website those websites are always sketchy too you always get weird pop-ups on those websites i don't know what it is about lyric websites i haven't had any luck with them and and like I say, it's rare to find uh, where you get 100% accurate on it, but um, I think you get the point there. I, you can definitely hear um, Proverbs 7 in that song and, 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 and the lure that lust has and, and the temptation and how it leads to death and, and that we can have deliverance in Jesus Christ. And, and so it's just a great, great song, and I highly recommend that you put that on full blast. Uh, if you're a metal fan like me, it just it don't get no better than that just listening as, as loud as you can handle it and uh just just uh i don't know why i wonder why metal music needs to be listened to like that it's no other music is like that i don't think but i just feel like you really get the full effect of all the different instruments that are playing into it and 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 the impact that the vocals are supposed to be making um it's just it's it's high volume music you know I, I it's it's just the way it is i guess but um anyways that's what i got for you guys tonight um as always i appreciate you watching and uh, i love you lord Rome, we'll talk to you next time see you later